West Virginia's drug epidemic, what should we do about it? Much like the rest of the United States, West Virginia has been struggling for decades with substance abuse and addiction. It's often presented as a societal problem, but we have to remember that it's an individual problem. It's a problem for a person, their friends, and their family members. Let's look at some examples. Marijuana. Over 217,000 people in West Virginia use marijuana. This represents over 11% of the population. And according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, around 9% of users will become addicted. Here are some signs of marijuana addiction. You lose interest in activities you used to enjoy. Another sign is being uninterested in setting and achieving specific goals in your life. Your relationships start to suffer because of your marijuana use, whether it's family members or friends. You have withdrawal symptoms when you stop using for a certain amount of time. This can include anxiety, depression, sweating, tremors, etc. Methamphetamine. Around 21,000 people use meth in West Virginia. But only 200 got treatment for meth addiction in 2019. Methamphetamine is one of the most damaging drugs. It's important to identify when someone starts using meth to get them help as soon as possible. Some of the signs include picking at hair or skin, which can also be noticed by scabs on the skin, having strange sleeping patterns, having angry outbursts or mood swings, showing psychotic behavior. Meth causes intense side effects, such as paranoia and hallucinations. Meth has become more of an issue because it recently started being manufactured in Mexico. Drug cartels are starting to make the drug in mass quantities and shipping it across the border in record numbers. As recently as November of 2021, authorities seized over 17,000 pounds of meth coming from Mexico into the United States. Opioids. There were 1,133 opioid overdose deaths in West Virginia in 2020. This is the highest rate in the country. The opioid crisis has been sweeping the nation for decades. But because of the legitimate use of those drugs, it can be hard to identify when it has become a problem. Here are some signs of opioid addiction. Being unable to control one's opioid use. One of the first signs is having to get drugs outside of one's regular prescription. Having uncontrollable cravings. Having frequent flu-like symptoms. Stealing from family and friends. Opioids have always been an issue, but restrictions have left many seeking illegal alternatives. And according to a recent study, over 40% of black market prescription pills contain a lethal amount of fentanyl. This is a lethal amount of fentanyl. Did you know that a lethal dose of fentanyl is about the size of Lincoln's beard? On a penny that is. Now, here are some tips. If you feel you're going to use. Call your sponsor or a friend that doesn't use and would understand your situation. Extrovert your attention. Walking can be very therapeutic. While walking, direct your attention to the outside world. The same can be done while riding a bike. One of the best ways to become extroverted is to choose an activity that brings about a change of environment and provides something different. Find a hobby or activity that allows you to be in a different location than where you're using drugs. Find a purpose in your life and pursue it. Some people use drugs when they get bored or when they have no goals in life. Recognize the people in your environment who affect you emotionally. The people who bring you down, keep telling you that you won't succeed, make you doubt yourself, and so on. They could be one of the reasons for your emotional problems. Make sure to eat healthy. A lack of nutrients can cause different physical and emotional symptoms. For example, a deficiency in vitamins and minerals can create a drop in mental and physical energy. If you want to help someone, don't enable the addict. This includes not giving him any money, not paying their rent, etc. You can care for them and love them, but be very firm on this point. The only help they should receive from you is to go to treatment. Encourage the person to seek help. This can be done by finding a treatment or a form of support. Remember to make sure all your actions are to get the person help, not to enable their addiction. Hire a professional interventionist. Get someone with experience, since a well-performed intervention greatly increases the chances of getting someone to treatment. Be aware of signs of overdose. If you see one of your friends blacking out or showing other severe side effects, get help immediately. Remember that West Virginia has a good Samaritan law that offers some protection from arrest 
to the person seeking medical assistance for someone who is overdosing. We put a link to this law in the description of this video. If you have a loved one or employee who you know is abusing opioids, keep naloxone handy. It can save a life. It's available in most major pharmacies in West Virginia. Make sure to protect your family and yourself from the unethical lifestyle and behavior of the addict. As an example, many individuals addicted to drugs will steal or do other illegal things to get money. You can protect yourself by not leaving cash laying around or storing your wallet or purse in a location that isn't easily accessible.